Recently, I released a video in which I showed some hot books that I had found in my 100K collection. And I received a question from a subscriber on that video that sounded a little something like this. Hey Reggie, what is it that you do with those hot books that you find in your collection? Do you automatically send them in to be graded? My acting skills aside, it is a legitimate question that this subscriber has asked me. And technically I've received this question a couple of times. And so I felt that this was potentially a topic that should be blown out in a larger video because my thought here is that if a couple of people have this question, this could be of interest to others and not just new comic book collectors or newly returning collectors, but also those seasoned veterans. And the reason for that is because we are all potentially finding ourselves in possession of books that suddenly become hot. Maybe they are books that have been in your collection for a long period of time. Maybe they are books that you just recently picked up in a dollar bin or got through some kind of you know collection that you purchased or inherited. The question remains, what is it that we do with these books that are suddenly hot? And so in this video, what I hope to be able to do is to provide you some tips and pointers and things to consider so that you can decide what is in your best interest. Before we get to the tips, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the sponsor of this video, Shortbox. If you haven't yet downloaded Shortbox, I want to encourage you to take some time to do so. This app is the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comics. There is a link down in the description. I encourage you to check it out. With that said, one of the first things that I wanted to talk about is that just because a book is hot does not mean that that book has sustained value into the future. As I mentioned, we all find ourselves in possession of books that suddenly become become hot for one reason or another, but that does not mean that that book will remain hot forever. So you have to ask yourself, why is this book going up in value? What is the rationale behind it? And there could be a ton of different factors that are contributing to this book going up in value. It could be the simple fact that a YouTuber released a video in which he or she talked about some kind of spec. There could be rumors out there. Heaven forbid, there could also be a little market manipulation at play. My point here is that not all things are nefarious, but you absolutely want to understand the rationale behind why this book is going up in value. Because the truth is, is that maybe there is some substance there. Maybe there is something that is truly propping this book up that will result in some sustained values down the road. The other side of the coin is that potentially there is nothing there. It is all rumor. It is all smoke and mirror. And there is nothing that is contributing to this book truly going up in value other than the FOMO monster grabbing a hold of people. So you want to understand why is this book going up in value? And then you have to think about, does this mean that there is some long-term legitimate potential for this comic? And this question will come into play as we work through the other tips. Tip number two is to consider selling that book raw. And I think this is an important thing that cannot be overstated. Not every comic has to be graded. Not every comic has to be. But the genesis of the question that was being asked was about extracting the most value from a hot comic. The best way to extract value from a comic is to have that comic be graded because now the subjectivity to some degree or another has been stripped away. The book has been sent off. It has been graded by a professional grader. It has received the grade. That grade can be referenced in a pricing guide, which gives you the ability to sell the book at that current FMV that you find in your preferred pricing guide. That is super awesome, but there is also an element of time associated with sending a book off to be graded. And it doesn't matter whether it's one month or six months or longer, there is a time element and there is the potential that that hot book may not be as hot when you actually get it back. So you have to think about the timing element of it. And does it make sense to just sell the book raw 
and take that money while you can get it. Because to get a book graded, not only do you have to take some time, but you also have to spend some money to get it graded. What happens if the market dynamics have changed and that hot book is no longer hot? Now you've invested money into it and you may not be able to actually get that value out. So selling it raw could potentially be your best bet for making some money. And the truth is, depending upon when you bought the book, you may actually make some decent money. So you have to ask yourself, what is really important? And again, is it best to sell it raw or graded? I don't know. That's something that you're going to have to think through. Tip number three is to go ahead and slab that book if it has some merit and thus long-term value. If you consider why the book has become hot and you deem that rationale to be legit and something that you can actually buy into. It doesn't make sense to sell it raw. It might make sense to go ahead and send it in to be graded. That way, when the real opportunity presents itself, when that movie or TV show or trailer drops, go ahead then and pull the trigger and make even more money. But again, you have to take some time to think about those merits before just handing over additional money to invest in a comic. And again, I think the big thing here is that if you are getting that book graded because you want to keep it in the PC, in many ways, all bets are off. And for those that don't know, PC stands for personal collection. A lot of times people have a core personal collection books that will stay with them long term and then other books that they aren't necessarily as attached to that potentially will be sold off or traded. So I wanted to throw that in there as well. But again, after you do your due diligence and you think through this thing and it makes sense for you to slab it, by all means, pull the trigger. And as a reminder, if you do not have your membership to CGC, there is a link in the description of every single one of my videos. Uh, go ahead and click on that affiliate link and get your account set up. Tip number four is to make sure that you consider all of the factors at play. And the factors at play are things that I've essentially alluded to already. So it is the merit of the book. It is the rationale behind it. It is, does it make sense to sell it raw or to get it graded? If you decide to get it graded, you have to think about not just the time element, but also the cost involved in getting that book shipped, cleaned, pressed, grade it, shipped back. You have to think about that because if you spend 40 bucks, $45, $50 potentially to get this book clean, pressed, graded, shipped and all that kind of stuff and the book is only worth $60, right? Going back to does it make sense to sell it raw? If the book is only worth 60 and you, you basically invest it 50 plus the cost of the book, $10 or so might not be the right deal. And so then you find yourself having to sell that book for $70, $80, or at least trying to. But the challenge there is that everyone has access to pricing guides. Everyone has the ability to look up that graded book on eBay or in a pricing service and determine whether that book that you're offering is a good deal or a brick. And again, if you're doing it for the PC, this might not matter as much, but these variables, these considerations are vitally important, especially if you are trying to sell that comic, to take that money, to invest it into other things, or even to pay bills or whatever it happens to be. Tip number five is to do nothing. And this cannot be overstated. Just because you have a comic in your collection that is worth some money does not mean that you have to sell that comic raw or graded. You don't have to do a thing with that comic other than celebrate the fact that you actually have it in your collection. Maybe you put it in a new poly. Maybe you get frisky and put it into Mylar or in some kind of protective case and put it on display. All of those things are acceptable. They are all acceptable. Having a book in your collection that is worth money just means potentially that your overall collection has gone up in value. And one of the cool things I like to do is to look at my value report in the Go Collect database. They actually have a, a functionality where you can plug in your graded comics and it will show you how much you pay for those comics because you put it in and based upon FMV, how much those books are going for now. And I almost view it like a little bit of an investment portfolio. I like looking at the value of my collection actually going up. It is a wonderful thing 
That does not mean that I'm going to sell any of those books. It's just one of those things where it's like, that's cool. On to the next thing, right? So I wanted to make sure that I that I underscore this point a few times because you do not have to do anything that you don't want to do. With that said, I'm going to wrap this video up and I will ask you to do something for me. And that is to give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment behind if you truly enjoyed it. If you didn't, that's okay too. Leave me your thoughts behind and let me know what you think, because I am always interested in hearing people's viewpoints. If you need to reach out to me, you can do that as well on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care.